，那它就容易产生效果。这也是佛这个佛法里面讲的这个理事无二啊，它它本来是有这一面的，但是呢，这里又埋下了另外一个问题。There is a、uh... One of the most important things in Buddhism, also, is what we've already talked about as cause and result relationship. So, everything in Chinese medicine, including in the Jinjingong, is if you apply yourself, you will have result. If you understand the foundations and the reasons why, you will apply yourself. So there is this cause and result relationship.、Um, But there is also, on the basis of this, some he says there is another kind of problem in there that we also should be aware of, and that he just thought of. That why I say there are two. There, there, there. Another problem arises. That is, that is, everyone is clear, is very good, but there is another thing. Sometimes it is not clear what is clear. But、um, so we already clear that it's wonderful to understand something, and you clear, and then you get good results. There doesn't seem to be a problem. But sometimes being in the not clear is actually better than being in the clear. Because 凡夫啊，就是我们没有成就之前，我们都是凡夫。那么凡夫有一个特征，这特征是什么呢？这个特征也是。呃，我们呃，南老我很很很崇敬的一个大德南老呢，他经常讲的一句话，就讲凡夫的习性是什么呢？容易得到的东西啊，他往往等闲视之，他就他他就他就很很容易轻视他，就讲莫将容易得作为等闲看，就是南老他经常讲的一句话，就凡夫他很容易犯这么一个一个一个一个东西。叫是反复的话，反复是反复就是说没有对对对没有成就，没有对对对，那是好事情还是是不好的事情？反复是在这个，反复就是不太，就普通人，就是普通人，对，不是圣贤，对对对。他有一个问题呢，就是你很容易得到的东西，他就很，他就。很看不起。哦，所以反复的一个原因之一，就是因为你太容易。有一个特征是这样，对，容易得到的东西，他就容易小看你，就容易轻视他。嗯。The word 反复 ，I just wanted to make sure I didn't mix that up. Is the word 反复 in Chinese means back and forth. One of the reasons why people go back and forth with something that's valuable, do it, then drop it, then do it and drop it. Is because sometimes it comes too easy. If the things come too easy, then you won't respect it. That's a, that's that that's true for almost everything. So, Laozi has a very deep saying, which I think I just realized now. I didn't understand it before. So, Laozi has a saying called "Min ke si you zi, bu ke si zi zi." So, before it was also criticizing Laozi for his stubborn policy, his farming policy. 就民可使由之，民就是凡夫了。你只民可使由，由就是自由由，就是你告诉他怎么去做就行了，不要告诉他为什么这样去做，不可使知之，不要让他啊。这是老子的一句名言。There is a famous、uh, sentence from Lao Tzu,、uh, which is of course the main Taoist classic. He said that I didn't also understand until now. Which says, you can only let people know how to do it, not why. And、uh, this is the problem that we are talking about here. Because you just use the words, just tell him how to do it. Ah, this method is just do it. Not tell him the real thing. He will be very honest to do it. Or how to do it. If you tell him the right way, 他就不，他就不那么老实去做。If you say this is very good for you, do this movement just like that, you will feel very motivated, perhaps from another perspective, 
to explore for yourself where the good is, because you want to find out for yourself. Whereas if you say, this is the trick, if you understand this is the trick of the whole thing, then you feel like the other person's already worked it out for you, and you can pursue other kinds of things. Uh 这一个不说的东西是什么呢this is a very important point and it's uh, one, this is so interesting to see because now that he's speaking about it I had the same uh, idea earlier um, when he was uh, talking about the other point he says um, what you witness today a sort of rediscovery of ancient wisdom that is hidden in symbols number symbolism, symbolism of words, and uh, this immediate clarity coming to all of us about what the real meaning of the Jin Jin Gong is, he said, there is a scientific truth, therefore, in the fact that the founders of the Jin Jin Gong and really everything in Chinese medicine, anything sacred that is transmitted in the classics, they were very clear what they were transmitting, but there is a, they never said why. They, they told you how to do it in the terms of Lao Tzu, but they didn't tell you the why. And sometimes you have these magical moments where the why um, um, manifests itself spontaneously. He said this is not coming out of anybody's brilliance, it is the universe speaking to us. Uh, through the power of the moment. And uh, there is something that is called a turton in Tibetan Buddhism, which is a discoverer of hidden truths. And there is like, you, sometimes you go in the mountains and you find real treasures that were hidden by Padmasambhava, for instance, uh, uh, more than 1,000 years ago. But that's what really, in a certain way, how uh, both of us understand our work as the discoverer of hidden treasures in the classics. Nobody else is looking at the record this way. We, all, we just look at a word, all of a sudden have a totally different meaning of yin-yang or what the 12 channels are, etc. So this is, uh, um, this is what happened. There was sort of a turton moment because there is, tertons can find actual treasures that are hidden in the mountains and in caves, but they can also discover um, hidden truths in, that are buried somewhere in the sentences in the classics. You know? And while we are not the discoverers of it, we just, the, um, that there was all of us together that, that created the space to, uh, for some discovery like that to be made.